Brian. This is my son, Jacob. And we are the Wick Boys. So today we're gonna to do an NFL mock draft for you guys. Starting off with the Jacksonville Jaguars. What do you got? Well, I think this is kind of a no-brainer. I'm gonna to have to go with Trevor Lawrence, quarterback. I got Trevor Lawrence as well. What do you got for number two? New All right, York number Jets. two is New York Jets. Yeah. They just traded away Darnold. Yeah, right. they did trade Sam Donald. Donald to the Carolina Panthers. So they got to be looking at quarterback. Um, it's got to be either Zach Wilson or um, Justin Fields. But as much as I'd like to say Justin Fields, because I think he's going to be the better quarterback, I think they're going with Zach Wilson. I'm going to say Zach Wilson as well, because I don't think Justin <laughs> – I last night, I was looking at some things. I don't think Justin Fields is going to go in the top eight. But what, what you got for number three? Mm -hmm. Uh, so number three, that would be um, San Francisco, right? San Francisco, what you got? So I'm going to go out a little bit here. And I'm going to go with wide receiver uh, Jamar Chase from LSU. Um, I know he didn't play in the fall, but I think he's a you good pick for them. better than Devontae Smith? Um, personally, probably not, but I think that, that okay. he's got that NFL size better that that, that – they're gonna go after. All right. Well, I got Patrick Sertan. I think he's a really good defensive back, knows his stuff, and I think he's like San Francisco's always got some good backs. So adding him to the thing, it'll be good. Yeah. All right. All righty. Number four, Atlanta Falcons. What do you think? Kyle Pitts, tight end. He's a good sized tight end. And yeah. they still have Matt Ryan. I think they'll find with a quarterback, to be honest. And he can be a wide receiver, too. His combine skill thing, his fast, was really fast. So I got Kyle Pitts. I'm going to go with that, too. I agree with Pitts. Cool. All right, so number five is going to be the Cincinnati Bengals. They got their quarterback last year. Mm -hmm. um, I'll go first. Right. I'm really thinking they really need help on either the offensive or defensive line. Um, I'm going to go offensive line at this point, and I'm going to go with uh, the guy from Oregon, um, Penny Sewell. Gotcha. I'm going to go with the same guy. I think they really need offensive help, and the line really needs to get better when he's one of the top guys out there. Okay. I'm excited for this pick. The Miami Dolphins. Miami Dolphins, number six. Well, you know why I'm excited? Tua is going to be reunited with Devontae Smith. Devontae Smith. Yeah, I'm going to say that, too. I well, think I it's a good it. pick. Let's go for number seven. We got the Detroit Lions. This is always a big one. Um, I'm going to go ahead. They have golf now as a quarterback. They traded Stafford away. But I think they need some defensive help. I'm going to go Sean Wade, Ohio State defensive back. So another defensive back. They took, was it an Ohio State defensive back Akuda. last year? Akuda? Yeah, yeah they, they just yeah. need some defense help. All right, they need so, offensive line too, but so that's good. Um, they got rid of a lot of receivers too. Yeah. I'm going with Jalen Waddle, wide Jaylen receiver Waddle. from Alabama. All righty. Lions. That, I mean, they got to do something, right? <laughs> they like to pick wide receivers anyway. Well, they in, like running backs. in the first round, and they did get rid of a bunch of wide receivers. And I'm a Lions fan, you know. I, I know we're not going to the Super Bowl. We haven't ever. We <laughs> might never. So yeah. All right, we got number eight, the Carolina, Carolina. Panthers. They just received Sam Donald. <laughs> I think they're going to need some offensive right receivers help. So this one I'm going Jamal Chase. Okay. Um, well, looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to go a little bit defensive. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to go with linebacker Micah Parsons from Penn State. Gotcha. Sounds good. Number nine, Denver Broncos. This is hard because they have Drew Locke, but I'm not sure I'm that confident in him yet. But since they just got him, he's like, what was it, like two, three years ago? <clears throat> he's yeah, still like learning some stuff. I think he just needs some. He's got wide receivers. He's got Jerry Judy back there. He's got um, Deshaun Hamilton. He's got a lot of good wide receivers there. He's got a good running back crew. I'm a good defense. Um, I don't know. Though, because the offensive line needs help too, but I'm going to go by Parsons. Linebacker. Yeah. This is where I finally put uh, Sertan out there from Alabama, the safety. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, he could play cornerback, but I think he's going to be a safety, actually. And Denver's known for some pretty good defense. They got Von Miller over there, and I think they're just going to bolster it even more. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys. This is um, an easy <clears throat> pick for me. You got Dak Prescott in the line. Up you got... Um, is it Molly Cooper still there or no? I think so. Got Molly Cooper. And now you're going to add Jalen Waddle. I think that'll be good for them. Get another fast guy on the edge. And yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with uh, offensive linemen because I, I think um, they need to protect us. You know, they need to protect uh, Prescott and mm -hmm. Elliott and that. So I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Rashawn Slater from Northwestern, actually. Cool. What do we got next? All right. So now we got to number 11, the New York Giants. This is just awful. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with J.C. Horn because... He's a defensive back, and they they have a quarterback. They have a good offense. You just need a good defense to stop other teams. So I got J.C. Horn, quarterback of um, South Carolina, right? Yeah, that's a pretty good pick. Um, I think I'll just go with that one as well, to be honest, because Cowboys need some help on defense. <laughs> so, yeah. Giants, you mean? Giants, I mean, I just – Cowboys do too, but that's the <laughs> <Yeah>. size <laughs> Everybody in that division needs help on offense and defense, but, you know, we're, we don't even want to get into the Washington <laughs> football team. All right. Um, another team from that division, the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, man. They need help, too. I mean, there was a lot of stuff, but I'm going to go with Caleb Farley. He's my pick. All right, all right, all right. He's all right, a defensive right, right. back, and, I mean, they got a quarterback, so they got Jalen Hoods. You really just need some defensive players. But yeah, yeah so. so I'm going to go with them too. Defensive back from Virginia Tech. I mean, pretty good pick, I think. Um, yeah. So then you got the Chargers at 13th. Well, they got a quarterback in Justin mm -hmm. Um Now, uh, hmm, this is an interesting pick. I'll have you go first because I have no clue. Okay. So I'll tell you, I got to look at my notes here, but... This is what I'm thinking. I'm going to go defense, and I'm going to go with a linebacker um, from Notre Dame. And, gosh, <laughs> trying to pronounce this guy's name. We're just going to call him Jeremiah. Ozzy Koramora or whatever, <laughs> but you guys oh, understand yeah. what I mean. I apologize for killing that name. But, you know, I, I think he's like a sleeper guy, at like an outside linebacker, safety, hybrid type of position. So that's what I'm thinking. Alrighty. <clears throat> Who do we have next? Oh, well, um, let me go back to that here <laughs> real quick. Oh, my notes, sorry about that, guys. Um, and yeah. so we are on... Yeah, click on it. Yeah, I messed something up badly. <laughs> sorry, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Um, we got the 14th pick to the Minnesota Vikings. I got Trey Lance. He's a quarterback. Um, Cole Cousins, I'm sorry, dude, but you're not good. I mean, you could mm. be good, but mm. you're off a lot. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go defense again. I'm going to go with a cornerback, uh, J.C. Horn, defensive back from South Carolina. So, yeah. All right. Patriots, okay. number 15. I got Justin Fields, I think. It'll be a good quarterback matchup with Belichick, and I think it'll be all good. See, that's interesting. Um, I, I can't complain too much with that pick, um, especially with the route that they just went here, right, mm -hmm. at quarterback. Um, but I'm going to push him back a little bit further. I still think they're going to have to quarterback because I think they need that. I'm going to go with Mac Jones from Alabama. I think that's a bad decision because I saw some film the other day and um, he <clears> threw, he overthrew a few wide receivers and Belichick's over there like, nah. But, well, you know, you never know. Belichick likes his projects. I mean, Tom Brady's one of the best, if not the best, quarterback of all time in the NFL. Mm -hmm. He was a good quarterback in college. He wasn't, 
exceptional. Um, he was a, what, seventh round draft pick? Mm -hmm. Look what he became. I think Mac Jones has got the right size, the arm strength, and I think he's going to bring him in as a project to get him there in the next year or two. So that's what I'm mm -hmm. going with. All right, so now we got um, Arizona Cardinals on the clock, number 16. So I'm an Arizona Cardinals fan. Mm -hmm. um, yes, you are. Who did I say for the Jets? Mm -hmm. No, no. Why are you paying attention to your picks? I'm trying to remember okay, my well, picks. I think it was Zach Wilson. But anyway, the Arizona Cardinals, yeah, yeah. they're going to go with a really good running yeah. back. And they're going to go with Travis Etienne from Clemson. They got power in him. And in my opinion, he's better than the Jai Hewitt from Alabama. Not bad, not bad. Um, I think that they want to continue to protect their quarterback. So I'm going to go offensive line. Out of Oklahoma State, Tevin Jenkins, offensive tackle. So then now we're on the 17th overall pick, and this goes to the Raiders. <sighs> the Raiders, man. I have no clue, except I'm going to let you go first because I just don't know what they need. You let me go first, huh? Okay. Um, I'm here with Trey Lance, quarterback. Um, I know I know they got Carr, but uh, um, project guy, a few years to get him going. Not... You know, I, I, I just, yeah. Um, <laughs> Gruden likes his quarterbacks, right? So he likes to bring in quarterbacks and stuff, and that's what I think we're going to see here. So, All right. Um, I'm going to... 18 is going... Oh, you, did, you uh, didn't pick I, I You didn't pick, pick yet. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. All right. I got the Jaya Hill. It's out of Alabama. They got Josh Jacobs back there. We unite him with Harris, and I think... That's going to be your dynamic duo, and you're all good with the Raiders. All we right. got the Dolphins next. Dolphins are number 18, yeah. That's a fun one. Yeah. Because I have no clue. Well, you see, I, I, I'll, I'll go here then because this Actually, is... Actually, I have a clue. I have a clue. Okay, go. Alex Leatherwood, Alabama offensive lineman. I think it's a great pick. Okay. But, go ahead. I'm, uh, this ain't going to happen. It, it, because they're not going to become Alabama University, but I'm going with running back Najee Harris. Continue to uh, bolster the offense um, with, uh, you know, for Tua and former teammates and stuff. Ain't going to happen, but that's my crazy wild card pick. Number 19. <sighs> This is so bad. The Washington football team, I'm a.k.a. Sorry. the Redskins. Yo, I'm sorry if you guys are a fan of Washington. Mm. I just... They're not good. They're not nice. They're not. Well, you know. You know, this one's going to take a great mm. turn to me because they just got Lorraine Fitzpatrick as a quarterback. Does he start? Who? Probably not. But I say <clears throat> you need defense. It's true. So yeah. I'm going to go with Christian Baltimore, Alabama. Okay, defensive lineman, huh? Mm hmm. Uh, that, that, that's a good With pick. With Chase Young it's, in there? Yeah, that's a good pick. Um, you know, uh, I'm thinking that they're probably going to go offense somewhere. So this, I think, is where I'm going to take uh, um, Leatherwood offensive tackle from Alabama. I know I'm like an Alabama guy. I keep talking about all these Alabama guys, but hey, that's what I do. Uh, number 20 is Chicago uh, Bears, now on the clock. Who's the quarterback? I don't remember. Didn't they get rid of the guy from last year? Nick Foles? I think they got someone oh, else now. Wait, they just they just brought somebody in. Uh, uh, I don't remember. The Bears. I'm a Lions fan, so I don't pay any attention to the Bears. and just hope we can beat them once over a couple of years or something. All right. Um, the Bears. <clears throat> I'm going to go with the... Um, Jalen Phillips. Uh, don't know much about the guy, but don't really care about the Bears evil, so. Defensive end, huh? Yeah. So you think? All right, all right. I'm going to go uh, with an offensive lineman, guy from Texas, um, Samuel Cosme. All righty. So that takes us to uh, Indian Indianapolis Colts. They are the number 21 overall pick in the first round. Who do you got? Who's the quarterback? 
Not Phillips, because he retired. Um, yeah, but they just brought somebody in. I, I don't remember. Jacoby Brissett. No. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I, I don't remember. Why do you keep asking me these I don't questions? Know, man. You were supposed to take your uh, notes. Anyways, I I'm going to go with Rashad Bateman. Me. He's a right receiver from Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go with um, Greg Newsom, cornerback from Northwestern. I think they're going to have to bolster their defense up a little bit more. Yeah. You never know what they got on offense. Pretty good pick there. All right. So we're going to go down to the Tennessee Titans now, number 22. Um, okay. This one, <clears throat> I'm going to go with Kadarius Tony, wide receiver, Florida. Florida. Good pick. Um, good pick. I think <clears throat> they're going to be able to throw the ball with Tannehill. And I think they're just going to, they're all your good team. You add another wide receiver, good playmaker, you got more weapons. Maybe get you some playoff wins. So I'm, I'm thinking um, <clears throat> offense is pretty good. They got a really good running back, right? Um, they're going to look on defense, try and slow down the other team. So I'm going with Jalen Phillips, the defensive end from Miami. All righty. We and got next. It's going to take us to the number 23 pick, which is the New York Jets. I'm going to go with Greg Newsome, defensive back. I think um, after adding – your quarterback in there, and then adding some offensive linemen, a defensive player would be good too. And he's a good playmaker, so. Yes. Yeah. So maybe with Kadaris Tony, the uh, wide receiver from Florida, Florida Gators. Um, I think, you know, mm -hmm. they they need some help on offense. They so. need a lot of help. All right, that takes us to pick number twenty-four, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I'll take this one first because I'm going to surprise you a little bit here, Mr. Clemson fan, and I'm going to go with running back Travis Etienne. All righty. I think that's a good pick. I, I'll give you props there. Um, let me see my notes here. Um, this one's a pretty good one. I got <clears throat> Nick Bolton. Um, he's a good playmaker. He's really talented, very physical, and he's going to bring some talent to the table, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So then that takes us to uh, Jacksonville at number 25. Jacksonville Jaguars. Wow, this is a interesting pick, don't you think? After acquiring Travis Lawrence. New coach. New coach, Open Mile, you know, he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Um... Well, I don't know if he will in the NFL, but you got to have the main guy in the offense. So I got center, Landon Dickerson. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to go with defense because Urban Meyer tends to have good offenses and not such good a defense, so he needs some help. He needs something to help him out because um, his defenses aren't that good. And I'm going to go with that Alabama thing again, Christian Barmore. Gotcha, gotcha. Against gotcha. the tackle. Defensive line, whatever you want to call them. Um, so that's going to take us now to uh, the Cleveland Browns with the number 26 overall pick. This team really got better as the season went on last year. Made the playoffs. Really surprised a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, offense was looking pretty good. Maybe a little help on defense. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go, since I'm talking about it already, I might as well just go with it. And I think I'm going to go with um, <clears throat> my notes here, I got Nick Bolton, outside linebacker from Missouri. Um, he might bulk up enough to play inside linebacker, but that, that's what I'm going to go with there. I think you trade the pick. <clears throat> trade the pick for something next year or the year after that. Um, <clears throat> trade it to someone who actually needs it. And you already got a good team. I think Cleveland in this draft just needs to focus on maybe a little more help on the offensive line. And then I think you're solid. Okay. Yeah. So then we got the uh, number 27 pick with the Baltimore Ravens. So we go from the Browns to the Ravens here. That's kind of weird in the way it worked out. But, hey, we're going with it. Um, what do you think there? Um, I, I'm thinking they need – they don't need much, to be honest with you. Um, what are you thinking? 
You know, I'm going to go with a defensive back. I think that they need a little bit of help on defense. Um, so Asante Samuel from Florida State. That's, yeah. I really don't know, so I'm going to go with you. I'll go with him as well. All right. Then we got number 28. The New Orleans Saints. The Drew Brees era is over. Ooh. Now what do you do? Well, you got Jameis Winston. Uh, I um. I would try to trade something in the offseason for a quarterback. Um, maybe Russell Wilson, possibly. If not, you can try to get maybe Mitchell Trubisky. He's not the best, people say, but he did lead the Bales to the playoffs last year. So they almost beat the Saints, too. Um, but I would trade in the offseason. If you can't trade in the offseason, I'd go for a quarterback. Um, Pretty much taking all the good ones off the board. Yeah. I have one left. You have one left? Yes, I do. You want me to hear my pick? Nah, I'm going to do, do mine first. All right, all right. All right. Um, I think they select <clears throat> Mac Jones. Oh, yeah, you didn't pick Mac Jones yet. Yeah, That's I right. think they select Mac Jones. Okay. Well, I'm going quarterback, too. Um, but I don't know that he's really going to fall this far. But Justin Fields, Ohio State. All right. All right. Um, that's going to take us to number 29, Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers. I As hate a Lions fan, I don't like the Green Bay Packers <laughs> very much. I'm sorry, Wisconsin. I think, Cheese is good, but I don't like the Packers. I think they're going to trade the pick. I don't think they need help at all. Honestly, they'll fine. Trade the pick, you're fine. I'm going to go with an outside linebacker from Texas, uh, Joseph Ose. Uh, defensive help. Yeah. yeah. Defense, man. Defense wins championships, and they haven't been able to win it in a while. So, All right, number 30 is going to be the Buffalo Bills. Very good team. What can help them get over the edge? I don't know. You tell me. Well, that's a good question. I'm going to go with offense of line. Offense of line. Offensive tackle out of Notre Dame, Liam Eckenberg. Good uh, guy. They could use that help. I, I, I guess I'll say the same thing because they have a good they have a good core. <clears throat> they just need a little offensive line help to help Allen get out there a little bit more, and I think they'll be good. Okay. Uh, that's going to take us to number 31, and that is the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, dear. Um, this is very interesting, wouldn't you say? You want me to go with it? Yeah. Cause See, I I'm going to go offense again, <laughs> offensive line again. Um, again, you want to protect your, your guy, your quarterback, um, Patrick Mahomes in this case. So I'm going with offensive attack with Jalen Mayfield from Michigan. Well, that's a really good player. I didn't even think about that. Um, yeah, that, those were some good picks. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking offensive line as well. Um, I don't know. Did I say Panel yet? No, you didn't. Yeah, I'll go. What's his name? Penny. Penny Sewell. Penny Sewell. That's what I'll pick. I don't know if he's gonna go that down that far, but let's be honest. I kind of just forgot about the guy. Okay. <laughs> but he'll be he'll be mm -hmm. a great fit for Kansas City. All I right. know this last pick. I know it. Last pick, number 32, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm going to do my pick first since he knows his pick. Um, tight end. Because, you know, their tight end's going to retire and then maybe come back again and then retire. And So we're not playing that game. Pat for your move. Tight end, Penn State. Cool. Maybe a little higher than he should go, but Buccaneers taking him. Well. Brady wants him. See Brady. Brady's gonna be playing for like another. He's gonna be years. playing. I don't know about that. He said four years. He's gonna be out there in his walker. He said four years. Um, I think he's only gonna play two more years. I think if they win one more Super Bowl, he's out the drain. And I think he's gonna teach the next quarterback that's gonna become a Buccaneer. It's gonna be Kyle Trask, Florida hmm. quarterback, Heisman runner. And that's your thirty-two picks. Yeah. All right.
You well, tell us what you think in the comments. Yeah, what do you guys all think? Um, I'm sure you guys will probably do a better job of picking than we did, right? Probably. <laughs> um, but hey, there's always so many surprises that happen. So I try to capture some surprises here, but they're not going to probably be the ones that actually happen. But hey, let us know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. You guys have a great day.